Hi, welcome back to the foundation course on uh, communication and soft skills with a specific focus on interview skills for this particular video tutorial. The other videos we have, you know, uh, we have specifically focused on conversation skills, pronunciation and everything that matters to make your communication effective. So, the agenda for today is uh, how do I clear my interview discussion and how do I make that right impressions. So, let us move on to understand this better. Wouldn't it be, uh, wouldn't it be very great to understand the fact that you know each time you are going for an interview, uh, you have been given the interview questions well in advance. That is, just imagine a situation where you know the hiring manager and hiring manager lets you know all the questions well in advance so that you can prepare and give your best shot. But uh, this is quite a miracle to happen. In case it happens as well, I am sure uh, it will not be a great experience because we all have to be feel that experience of uh, you know enjoying the discussion during the interview, enjoying enjoyed being challenged as one of your uh, you know last experiences so that you can basically go back and check how do you behave and manage when you were last time challenged and did you enjoy the entire process. So, would not it be great if you knew exactly what a hiring manager would be, asked, would be asking you for your next job interview. While we unfortunately cannot read minds, we wish we could read the minds, but uh, we cannot. We will, uh, unless you know you, are, you hold that specific skill of reading minds. We will give you the next best thing that is the 31 most common questions asked that is uh, we would advise you to chalk down the most commonly asked questions and prepare accordingly. So, try and use this, uh, uh, make a note of this terminology, frequently asked questions. in an interview, in a, in a job interview, let me be more specific now. I am sorry, I am blocking you guys while I am writing this. Yeah. Frequently asked questions in a job interview, try and search for specific information on internet and you will get a list of information as to what do you, uh, what questions appear and what is that you are supposed to focus on and how do you prepare for those specific interview questions. Okay? While we do not recommend having a canned response that is a very curt and direct responses for certain questions whether you know how approachable or friendly are you. If an interview would ask this question and you know you are a most friendly person you might end up saying that well I am. So, that is one of the you know a little not nicest way of giving the response. So, we would suggest that you know go ahead talk about certain factual information and use lot of uh, courtesy words in order to convey this information that you are trying to convey. Uh, keeping in mind we do recommend uh, you know there is lot of recommendation that can come forward on spending some time getting comfortable knowing more about the interview process knowing about you know who is taking your interview and uh, knowing more about uh, what is the hiring managers expectations, what is the job roles expectation. These things can help you a lot to make yourself comfortable. So, in order to make yourself comfortable even before getting on to the interview process is something uh, better would be you know know more about uh, what you say information about the company. information about the organization and uh, then we can certainly get information about the job role or responsibility for that matter, the job responsibility what are you supposed to do once you have been hired with this 
organization for the specific role yeah and then we have information on or about the hiring manager okay once again knowing more about you know the information about the organization information about the job role or the responsibility information about the hiring manager these three things can certainly help you get you you know get your uh, you at a comfort zone and allow you to speak the way you're supposed to speak for the desired role that you're looking out for once again information about the organization look up whether they have a a social media presence that is a linkedin page or a facebook page and how frequently they have been admired by the media or been given uh, the inf the news is uh, you know given out about what they have recently achieved and what they would be uh, achieving in the future in terms of the futuristic uh, achievements their goals and things like that you know if you can just browse through i'm sure you would be able to manage some information and then logging on to the main website which is most important and important uh, before we actually present yourself in the interview discussion because it's very important to know what what the organization is all about what are they you know uh, most important uh, what you say job roles that they offer what is the main core area of their work and what is a primary and secondary area of work that's something you have to keep in mind as well so that's to do with information about the organization and then the second point to remember is information about the job role or responsibility that is uh, keeping in view for the job role that you have applied for it's important to understand what is that they expecting out of the candidate what is that the expectations are in terms of you know knowing more about uh, uh, you in the discussion what are the prerequisites to apply for this particular job role so the lot of job roles which have been rolled out they have certain prerequisites so you have to match the prerequisites such as you need to be a qualified mba or you need to be a qualified btech graduate with certain percentage uh, with certain uh, university affiliation so you have to really go back do your little homework and then apply and then be prepared for the discussion and then we have information about the hiring manager it's very important because uh, that can make you really comfortable you know you might end up mispronouncing the name of the hiring manager and you can you know really lose a chance of getting that first impressions you might really are uh, not aware of the gender of this particular person you might end up calling a she and uh, the person could have a name which could have a familiarity in uh, both the genders so ensure that you look up to the person on linkedin it has been always advised when you're going for an interview and you know the person is going to interview you you can certainly just type that name and get some information quickly on the linkedin you know platform so these three things can certainly add you to make uh, uh, you know yourself comfortable and help you also clear your interview in the uh, in towards the uh, eventual uh, conclusion of your discussion so there's always a recommendation that you do not give out uh, responses which are quite curt and direct as well uh, consider list of you know lot of people have a different interview style so there's a lot of information which is given out on internet where where people talk about you know certain interview styles which have been specific with certain organizations and certain people rigidly follow that specific interview style to go by uh today we're going to discuss about you know the 10 important tips to improve your interview performance now that we have spoken more about what was interview in the previous uh, video tutorial we have also spoken about uh, certain responses that has to be structured we have extensively spoken about how a typical employment job interview would be uh, you have to keep in mind there's something called case interview there's something called mock interview and to talk about interview in general could be unstructured it could be free feeling it could be you know quite uh, have this open ended sort of questioning uh, you know technique that can be followed there okay so do you know how to make your case uh, 
to an interviewer that is how do you convince the person that you are the right fit for this organization for this particular job role because somewhere you have to do it at any point in time this the present job role maybe that you're applying for might not be uh, suitable or might not be something that you're mentally prepared but sometime in in your life you have to really convince the person that uh, uh, you're the right fit and uh, the person who's making a decision to hire you will be the most uh, you know happiest person to get you on board uh, to keep in mind uh, yes uh, you know the certain techniques or certain tips that can help you which has been proven uh, in the past with lot of research and with lot of study in case you follow this you will be able to achieve what you're looking out for so even the smartest and the most qualified job seekers in the world have to prepare for the interview get this very clear in your mind so you might be the university topper you might be the college topper or the school topper and you might have all the skills that you can certainly convince but however one shot for preparation can take you a long way in your interview discussion so what uh, you have to keep in mind is interviewing is a learned skill and uh, so the person who's interviewing you i'm sure he or she would carry that certain you know skill sets and uh, would also ask uh, in, a, in a likewise manner it should be a learned skill for you as well in case is your first interview of your life then you have to be very extra vigilant you have to be careful in terms of your responses in terms of the information that you're trying to share uh, interview is a learned skill and there are no second chances to a great first impression keep this very clear in your minds so it's always the first impression which are the best impressions and the lasting impression that can really allow you to make it a great experience so 10 strategies you no know, 10 tips which worked out for a uh, lot of uh, people and these are the strategies which have been given by the consultants the experts who have been in the field of interviewing people who have studied people and uh, who have shared the information in case you follow this you can certainly succeed so the first thing to keep in mind is you know practice good non verbal communication so now this is very important now that we have been speaking about communication let me halt here and explain you more about what is communication all about so communication is basically an exchange of information between a sender and receiver a sender would uh, you know encodes the the message and uh, the receiver decodes the so the, the the message which has been encoded and the receiver decodes the message in the process to keep in mind there are two types of communication which is uh, let me take this off Okay, now this is a long process I'm sorry I have to take this off yeah okay so communication verbal and then we have non-verbal communication so simple as the name suggests uh, verbal is something i speak or i write and i give out the information i either write or i i either speak and give the information non verbal has to do with your body language that is i do not use my verbal presence but only through my postures my gestures is where i give out the information now this has to do with body language only and then we have postures that's your hand moment your body moments and then we have something called gestures so gestures are your expression your eye contact comes under gestures again so i want you guys to look up to this board for a moment so gesture we have eye contact yeah. so have a look on this board communication verbal non verbal through verbal we write and we speak and uh, non verbal there is a body language which is been part of it 
and uh, through postures and gestures I communicate, I give out the information. Gesture, one thing to keep in mind is your eye contact. So, ensure that you have the right eye contact. So, there is a theory given out by Albert Merban. So, he is a scientist who studied extensively on body language. In a communication pie chart, imagine if this is communication pie chart. Oh my god, this is not come out clear on me. I apologize. Okay. So, now we have three things to keep in mind that is my body language would take over 55 percent of my pie chart ratio. Then we have tone which is 38 percent and then we have words which is your 7 percent. So, do you understand uh, the maximum percentage taken by in a communication pie chart is by your body language. So, 55 percent is the complete deal, tone is just about 38 percent and words is just about 7 percent. So, to keep in mind uh, that uh, not just words can help you clear your interview, but also your body language can you know help you clear your interview as well. So, this particular theory was given out by a psychologist who studied extensively on body language. Name of the person, uh, I just mentioned it here, Albert uh, Mabian. And uh, you have to just keep few things in mind that he said 55 percent is how you communicate is only through body language that is what is being perceived by the listener. Tone is nothing but your expression, your emotion which is about 38 percent which is again major. It is important how I communicate through my tone because as a language in case you are happy your tone shows and in case you are sad your tone shows up as well. Words is about 7 percent. So, when I say words I definitely mean com you know uh, language and I do not mean vocabulary words as such, but I rather mean uh, grammar and I mean pronunciation too. So, keep in mind. Uh, with regard to the non-verbal communication, your postures and uh, gestures that is your hand moments, your body moments are all part of your postures. And when it comes to gesture is your expression, your smile and your eye contact. Well, you are supposed to smile for simple reason to make yourself not just comfortable to also give an idea to the person who is looking at you or who is in discussion or rather communicating with you that you are a friendly person, you are a un, uh, your professional person and you are approachable. In case you do not smile, you come out as a person who is not approachable, who is not friendly and who is unprofessional too. So, keep in mind next time, smile in the right context. You cannot have a long face, you cannot keep staring the person, uh, though there is an interview which is happening because you might give out a different message to the person. So, coming to the eye contact, well we all have been struggling with this one particular uh, what you say an act where we all have to work on. Well, the rule is very simple in body language. The eye contact rule is you are not supposed to say, stare the person more than 3 seconds. So, do you understand 3 seconds something you cannot really put an alarm to check, but be mindful that you know you have to keep blinking when you are talking but you not you are not supposed to stare the person beyond 3 seconds and each time you are giving out a response in an interview or you are talking to anybody for that matter, you are supposed to really give the right eye contact to give out the message that you are true, you are honest and professional as well. So, in case uh, eye contact is not being uh, shared while you are communicating, you give out lot of messages. The messages could be you are lying, 
you are not up to the mark while you are giving the information, you are hesitant and you are unprofessional. So, next time when you are communicating and you know that you are supposed to give eye contact, please remember these pointers. In case you do not give the right eye contact, you are lying, you are unprofessional, you are not up to the mark to what you are speaking and uh, yeah, it is not a great experience to talk to a person who does not give eye contact. So, how do I learn? So, start looking at least in between the eyes that is in between your brows to begin with for people who have been struggling for eye contact. So, start with that and then move on to the 3 second theory that we just spoke about and uh, no staring beyond 3 seconds something you know you have to remember on. Postures uh, simple your hand moments uh, is going to be like open hand moments you are not supposed to like really play around and make your hand and fist really uh, you know force your uh, fist on the other hand and these uh, images can give a message that you are nervous, you are hesitant. So, have an open hand uh, uh, policy that you should follow while you are talking and communicating. Well, you can certainly play around by placing one hand on the other hand, but you cannot really press or force one hand on the other hand. Well, I do end up doing so, but you are not supposed to do so. Uh, anything that you overdo, so only this hand moment each time is going to bore the person, it is going to be very monotonous. So, keep interchanging your hand movements as well to make it more effective, to make it sound and uh, get the attention, the right attention. Uh, that is to do with the posture and uh, gestures we just spoke about, your smile, your eye contact equally important under body language. Okay, now, keeping in mind uh, it is about demonstrating confidence, standing straight making the right eye contact and connecting with a firm handshake. The first non-verbal impression that you create in the interview is going to be long lasting even before you utter a word out of your mouth, you have already created that right impression. So, keep in mind next time when you are creating an impression it has to start with body language and then it will move on to communication as such. So, uh, it all starts to make a great beginning or a quick ending uh, you know in an interview process all because you know if you have practiced a good non-verbal communication. So, when I say non-verbal I, I still mean the body language. So, keep in mind next time when you are preparing for an interview it is verbal to do with your spoken communication and non-verbal is to do with your body language. So, we all have to work and again this means different to different culture, this means different to different people as well. So, browse through what are standards, standards are very simple that is uh, in order to showcase confidence because that is one virtue or important skill that people look out for in the interview. You have to stand straight and you have to give that right eye contact with the right handshake. Now, rule of handshake is very simple. Each time you are giving a handshake, it has to be firm, it has to be while you know you, you share the eye contact with the person and a smile. The other rule of handshake says very simple states very simple that you are not supposed to give a hand if it is an opposite gender that is if a woman is interviewing you as a male interviewee, you cannot give uh, rather you cannot uh, you know give out your hand until the woman is comfortable and shares the you know handshake with you that is very simple and again not more than one or two pumps that is the way you you know shake your hand and it cannot be like a huge shake because it sounds again unprofessional, it is going to be like quite friendly. So, keep that thing in mind. So, dress for the job or the company, well to keep uh, these things aside apart from body language, dress for the right occasion. So, today's casual dress codes do not give permission to dress as uh, you know you want for the interview. It is important to know that what to wear in an interview and be well groomed. Well, there are a lot of organization who have went uh, casual dress day at work policy, but however, 
as an interviewee, you do not have the rights to go ahead and wear casual for the interview because this basically showcases your commitment and also gives your casualness towards the interview. So please ensure that uh, you follow certain guidelines, certain policy uh, before you actually go out and venture out to do something of this kind. And you need to be well groomed, that is something you know to talk about. Whether you wear a suit or something less formal depends on the company culture. So just have a little check about the company's expectation uh, and the position that you are seeking out for, that is something to keep in mind. If possible, call out, rather you know check with the company dress policy on the internet. There are a lot of organizations they do clearly mention or maybe you can get in touch with the employees who are working or maybe the HR that you are in interaction with. That will certainly give you a positive impression and you are doubly sure of even before you know uh, you venture out and it turns out to be a not so great experience. Listen because this is one quality that we all miss out as human. Listening plays a very important role from the very beginning of the interview. Your interviewer is giving you information either directly or indirectly. So you have to listen very carefully. If you are not hearing him or her out, you are missing out on a major uh, opportunity that can either allow you to be in the organization or just miss out the great opportunity. Good communication skills include listening skills and letting the person know that you have to hear well and then speak accordingly. So observe your interviewer and match that style and pace. So when I say pace, I mean your rate of speech. So don't talk too much, telling the interviewer more than he needs to know could be a fatal mistake always. So keep that in mind. So when you have not been prepared ahead of time, that is you know, your responses are apt to the point and maybe you are just giving quick responses, uh, you may have to really look back a little bit to give uh, you know certain response uh, just as an addition to what is being suggested and uh, maybe you can get a little bit of your own personal touch to the conversation. So start preparing for the interview by reading through the job posting to understand the job role, the requirement, the prerequisite, matching your skills with the positions and the requirement which has been rolled out. So that you can really relay, rely on the information, rela relate to it, I am sorry. Do not be too familiar, that is interview is a professional meeting to talk business. This is not about friend, your level of uh, you know uh, similarity should mimic the interviewer's uh, you know courage. That is uh, you should really match up to the style of the interviewer. It is important to bring energy and enthusiasm to the interview and to ask questions, but to not overstep your place as a candidate as a candidate because uh, when you are looking out for job, you are supposed to behave in certain manner and that is what the expectations is from the organization, from the HR and from the person who is interviewing you. Use appropriate body language, it has been given out that you should use professional language during the interview. Be aware of any inappropriate slang words or references to age, race, religion, politics or any you know towards any sexual orientation. These topics should be sent out, uh, you know, can maybe allow you to, you know, make you send out uh, out of the, you know, interview process. So be careful next time. Do not give out your strong opinions on religion, gender, uh, politics and something we have discussed already and also the health issue of the person in case you have learnt about it. So do not be insane in terms of giving certain responses, that is attitude plays a very important role, remember this you know in the interview process, there is a fine balance that has to be made, it should not be overly done and it should only showcase your confidence, professionalism and modesty. The more humble you are as a human being in every walk of your life, you will end up certainly, certainly being successful provided you have that modesty with you. Even if you are putting on a performance uh, uh, you know process, demonstrate your ability, your, your overconfidence is always bad by the way. If not, it will just help you to lose that particular, particular opportunity that you were here to crack the interview. So take care of certain answer uh, and the questions that is when interviewer asks you for an example of a time when you did something, you know last time which is most achievable 
or something that you desire uh, to have never done it, but you have you know actually achieved it, accomplished it. So, talk about it in the same star method that we have spoken and give that structured response using your mind map and star technique. It is it's a behavior interview by the way. So, all your behavior interview should be given out in star responses. If you fail to relate to a specific example, you not only have this you know an, uh, to answer the question, but you also miss out an opportunity to prove your ability and talk about your skills. Keep this in mind. Ask questions when asked if they have if you have any questions that is uh, towards the process of discussion there is all possibility where the interviewer can ask you any questions for us. So, do not try and say always or no, but you should certainly experiment with all your confidence to ask the specific question in case you genuinely have one uh, and never overboard yourself by asking you know too detailed uh, uh, questions which can annoy the interviewer and which can also make you fall in the uh, you know yes the conversation towards uh, not making that right impressions. So, do not appear desperate now this is many instances where you know people do end up to turn out to be this. Uh, when you are in the interview uh, please ensure that you know avoid certain phrases where you uh, say please hire me, give me this job, I need it badly because you know my father is unwell, my mother is unwell or whatever that background because you are not there for sympathy reasons or purposes. When you are being hired in an organization, there is a certain expectation which has been built up because every uh, day you have been involved in a stakeholder you know relationship and uh, only basis your performance, the organization can grow the organization can also take a call of you know uh, not being at a greater level. So, please ensure that you know, your work in case you get hired by that specific employer is interlinked with many employees work. So, just your performance can impact the entire environment. So, you have to be really making sure that you know you are getting into an environment where learning commitment is all about working in organizations. So, uh, basically there are a lot of people who end up saying uh, please give me a job and you know things like that. So, reflect the three uh, C's in the communication uh, uh, platform that is be concise, be comprehensive that is you have to give out information which is understood by the person and be clear while you are giving out the information. So, these are the things you know that can certainly help you build uh, that right impressions and uh, all you have to do is you know just follow. So, I like to repeat and conclude the uh, you know the presentation for today. We started by the 10 most important tips to improve your interview performance. The first thing that we spoke about was a good practice that is a good practice of non-verbal communication, dress for the job or the company. The second thing listen because this is something we all miss out. Do not talk too much only when it is needed uh, is something you have to talk. Uh, do not be too uh, you know, familiar with the uh, questions, with the process, with the culture of the company. Use appropriate language, do not be insane while giving out information. Take care of your answer, answers when you are responding. Ask questions when it is needed, do not appear desperate. This is, these are the 10 tips that can certainly help you to make that right impressions and help you sail through to clear your interview discussion. If you have any specific questions related to interview skills, because in the next consecutive videos we will be heading towards new topic, which can again assist you to clear and learn more about conversation and communication in general. I would suggest if you have something to drop in a comment in the comment box and uh, we would you know certainly would like to help you assist you. Before we sign off for today, happy learning and have a great evening. Thank you.